Kia ora, Tsefano. The bad news is I'm the fellow standing between you and lunch. The good news is I'm from New York and we talk really fast. So <laughs> it will be okay. So I love government. You don't hear many people from my country saying this, but I love government when it works. I believe it's a grand experiment between all of us. It helps us to meet our basic needs while also balancing those of the greater good. So I've spent the last 15 years of my life working to make government work better, specifically working to make it more transparent, more participatory, and more efficient. Great, so this journey began for me in 2003. Uh, I worked with many other people to try to beat George Bush in his re-election effort, and I did this because the first plane going into the World Trade Center woke me up in New York, and he was running for re-election, I believe, disingenuously on the backs of our experience in New York, saying he'd keep us safe when in fact he intended to take us into an unrelated war in Iraq. So in that failure, we failed, but, and I failed there, uh, we failed to beat him, but we built a movement and an organization that made the first major investments in an open source software platform, which today runs whitehouse.gov. And it runs tens of thousands of other government websites around the world, making them more transparent and more participatory. I then moved on to NASA, where I, in spite of a 96% worldwide brand recognition, I found a government bureaucracy that was old and staid and difficult to access and frankly, super ironically, kind of boring. And I worked with many other people to open it up in the process we call participatory exploration, helping them to adopt social media, helping them to adopt virtual reality and make their culture more like the Silicon Valley that was around the center that I was working at. I then moved on to the New York State Senate, part of our legislature in New York, where I was a CIO and working with a team much smarter and more prescient than I. They put up the first ever government GitHub repository in the world. Uh, we opened up all the data about how much money I was paid. We opened up public bills to comment online before they're voted on, adopted Creative Commons copyright, and on and on, and had a really profound experience about how we could make a really backwater, even corrupt local government institution be far more transparent and far more participatory. And then I built a company to try to help hundreds of governments to do better and built one of the world's two leading open source open data software platforms, sold that company to one of the biggest GovTech companies in the US. Uh, my work continues today with a nonprofit called Global Integrity. We work with governments around the world from Washington DC to help improve governance. So all these things are great and I love them and they've put me in a fortunate position to also be an investor. And I invest in companies and in entrepreneurs that I think can help build solutions that will help us understand the world better, help us understand each other, and to help us work better together. One of those is Planet. Planet's very soon gonna be the first entity in the world to be able to take a picture of every spot on the planet every single day. Another is Blockable. Blockable is building prefabricated, smart housing modular infrastructure that can reduce the time and improve the quality and reduce the cost of building public housing. GovList is a company that's reducing transaction times for per government procurement for tenders in the US by more than 50%, increasing the transparency and the accountability of that process at the same time. And finally, Blockchain for Change is a new startup in New York City delivering public benefits to some of New York's most vulnerable populations and reducing the transaction costs of that by up to 90%. So all this is great, I'm psyched about it, I'm proud of it, but by many measures, it's not working when you look at trust. Donald Trump isn't even on this graph. Okay? And basically trust in governments in the United States has been falling for decades. So this isn't just a US problem either. The populist backlash we've been seeing throughout Europe, I believe is related to eroding trust in our institutions and in each other. So we need help. And I believe that Aotearoa New Zealand is uniquely positioned to be the source of some of that help for the world. And I wanna work here as an investor and as a hands-on worker to roll up my sleeves and help civic tech and GovTech entrepreneurs here to build solutions that can actually turn that graph around. Okay, so why here? Well, <laughs> well, we hey, whether 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 you're happy today or sad today, you we have had coalition governments here for decades that actually work. That would be unthinkable in the United States today. Okay, we have technological depth across a range of industries way disproportionate with the size of our population. Okay. We have rivers that have rights because of 800 years of Maori wisdom and great leaders today. Again, that would be unthinkable in the United States today, particularly under this current administration. We have diverse metropolises that are thriving that rival the diversity of my other home in New York City. 
we're poised to be a model for the world. So how can we do it? Well, I want to invest in themes like civic tech. I want to, there are already companies like Lumio that are building solutions that help us work together better. Those need to be scaled. Companies like Point and Zero and all the VR and, a and augmented reality talent that we have here in this country, I believe can be used to help create empathy between people across distance, as well as practical solutions to help, for example, first responders to have the time and knowledge that they need in the time and place where it most matters to respond to disasters. Companies like Boxfish, which are helping to capture data about our planet and helping to analyze it to help us understand where we live. And then finally, makers and smart infrastructure companies that will make our urban environments more resilient. So I want to invest in all of these. And most of all, I'm, I'm excited in particular about blockchain technologies. And I'm excited about them because when you think of the billions of transactions that people engage in with public institutions every single day, I believe the blockchain technologies have the theoretical and technological potential to make those technologies more transparent and more efficient even if you don't trust the institutions that you're transacting with, even if you don't trust other actors in that system. And if we can realize even a small fraction of that potential, making transactions work and creating accountability in spite of lack of trust, then I think that will actually serve to help us rebuild trust in our institutions and in each other. So I couldn't be more excited and more proud to have the opportunity to be here to work with entrepreneurs to build these sorts of things. Kia ora. Kia ora.